Good afternoon everyone, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope everybody uh, is keeping cool in this really, really hot weather and it doesn't help with people's tempers. I went out this morning and I just felt so hot. Um, I came back home, um, kept myself hydrated, however I do like my coffee, so I had a cup of coffee and... Um, it's not heat I, I like, um, so I'm staying indoors, keeping cool by the fans. As I've said before, Max is a chihuahua, he's tiny, he's smaller than both my cats. Both my cats are extremely hot inside this flat, they're curled up, uh, trying to keep cool in cool places if they can. Um, we had, um, I think it was the year before last, um, a really intense heat during the summer that was unbearable and I remember just like sitting and putting my feet in bowls and um, in and out of the shower putting cold water all over myself I don't feel as bad as that however the the heat inside the building is intense it's awful it's not nice it makes you feel irritable um, inside the building uh, my bathroom hasn't got a window outside, so when you go in the bathroom and you have a hot shower, basically you haven't got a window in the bathroom to let the condensation out. So if you, when I have a shower, I almost collapse with the heat because there's no cool air outside. So you have a shower, you get all hot, there's no uh, uh, like air. Uh, the, the condensation can't escape, uh, not very quickly anyway, so you, you just swelter inside your flat. So I'm just trying to keep cool like everybody else. Um, I'm not one for sitting on beaches sunbathing anyway, and the heat dries out your skin, it dries out your hair, so I'm quite happy. Um, Alexa... What's the time, please? The time is 2.20 p.m. So, again, I've, I've, seen, I've seen a post trolley. I've seen a red Royal Mail post trolley opposite my block of flats. Um, I've been down to my post box. There's nothing else in my mailbox, but there's a parcel for Tracy. Um... I haven't been to the co-op today. I went out yesterday and I obviously got enough food and bits and pieces for a couple of days. Um, I've got to phone Barclays Bank again at some point to reset my pink passcode number. I can't, I just don't want to do it today. I've had enough of the telephone. I've already phoned up electrical contractors this morning to, to cancel the appointment. I'm not talking to people online. It's obviously the same person mucking about and I've had enough of it. Um, if you really cared if I was okay, you'd come and see me, uh, to be fair. I mean, am I okay? No, I'm not. I'm tired of being held up in what I feel like is a evil prison and I've done nothing wrong, right? I can't go out normally, I can't shop properly, and I just feel alienated, isolated, and I get fed up. And I think a lot of the population are feeling like that, except I don't get violence, I just have to put up with it because there's nothing else I can do. I think, I think that the powers that be... I, I'm an adult, I'm an adult, I think the, the news is like scaremongering me, um, I think Tommy Robinson has also been set up, I think they want to put Tommy Robinson in prison, I don't think he's a racist, no, I just think he's trying to fight, fight for a cause, I think he's been set up, to be fair, and I think some certain people are calling Tommy Robinson a racist and they want him in prison. Um, I don't think he's racist, no. Um, I just think he was set up. 
and they're all after him aren't they um so there's no post i think that i am an adult i don't want to be treated like a child i'm not going up to see my mum today i don't care how hard it gets i really don't i can get a pin number um, I, I've got a few bits of change left from yesterday, so if I wanted something from the shop, I can go and get it, like bread, milk. I'm not totally, I'm not without. I just feel like I'm being treated like a child. And um, somebody's died at the age of 55, which has made me feel wonderful. I was at, I was I was sat down on my sofa eating my spaghetti bolognese. They're trying to scaremonger me, and someone's died at the age of fifty-five on the news, right? I'm just going to type this in, see if it comes up. Wait for it to load up. Graham Thorpe has died at 55. Graham Thorpe. Former England batter Thorpe dies aged 55. Former England and Surrey batter Graham Thorpe has died aged 55. Thorpe played 100 tests for England between 1993 and 2005 as well as 82 one day internationals a stylish left-handed batter he scored 6744 test runs for england including centuries at an average of 4466 current england captain ben stokes was among those to pay tribute to thorpe along with the england and wales cricket board ecb and Surrey, while Michael Vaughan said his former teammate was a legend who had gone far too young. There seems to be an appro no appropriate words to describe the deep shock we feel at Graham's death, the ECB said in a statement. Just going through it, goes all through Thorpe's history. Agnew added that after it had been announced that Thorpe had been admitted to hospital in a serious condition, no details were given and there have been no public updates until today. The cause of Thorpe's death has not been announced. Great man and legend Graham Thorpe has died at age 55. Um, I think over the next coming days, I'm really not going to be watching the news at all. I'm going to be having a break from the news and watching Netflix films and just minding my business, keeping quiet and, and just watching what I want to watch. Because there is so much violence on the news, so much aggression, so much hatred. And people, a, a large number of people watch the news. And are we being distracted from what's really going on behind the scenes, including with the royal family and the government? Are we all being brainwashed and distracted? And remember, some of these protesters are young men, and we don't want our young people's lives being ruined by sent to prison. Are, are they just being used? There is such a thing as brainwashing, mass hypnotism. There is, I believe in it. And this, these are our future generations, the, the youth of our country, being misled. And they're going to spend, if they are... 
The one's especially setting fire, fire, it's arson, isn't it? Setting fire to cars and property. Arson, criminal damage. Do these youngsters want their futures ruined? I suggest myself that they just get on with their own lives and don't, don't become fodder and be used. Because I think there's a mass distraction going on myself. And, you know, I'm not watching the news anymore. I'm, you know, they, it doesn't make me afraid. We all die. All of us die in the end. So it doesn't matter how old you are, does it? And we should be praying and obviously remembering those, those children that were murdered. Murdered and stabbed. Right, not getting violent and aggressive on other people. And that goes for everybody. But I think there's mass distraction going on. And there's obviously something going, going on in the background that all this is covering up. And I think someone is actually trying to frighten me. And... Um, like I said, we all go at some point. And don't ask me if I'm okay when I'm being scaremongered myself. Because no, no, I'm not okay. I don't think anybody is at this moment in time. I think we're all scared of what's going to happen next. And it shouldn't have escalated to that level in the first place. You see, they can't pull the wall over my eyes. I've been through all this before in 2008. Believe you me, I've been through all this before. Right? Trying to keep me locked up indoors. And the only reason I'm staying indoors today is because it's too hot for me outside. And that's global warming. The air is polluted. It's not a fucking nice heat, is it? <laughs> so no post today. No post. No post and I'm not sitting on my balcony because I think I've got a cold. So I haven't been on my balcony today sitting on the chair. I've been indoors most of the day sat by cold air fans. So, you know, don't get distracted people. And don't, don't, to the young, the youth of this country, don't, don't, don't go to prison. It's not worth it. They're just looking, looking for fodder, you know, fodder to distract really what's going on. So you just, just keep focused on your lives. Do good, right? And, and, you know, I don't want the young generation to, to suffer because of the mess the mess the government have made see you later